Today I want to talk about better battery statistics and also at the end I'll talk about one app that I think you're going to enjoy. Right, before we do get into better battery statistics, I want to look at one application, CPU Spy. And you may notice that you can see at the bottom of my dock, I have my cable connected, so I'm charging. I just want to make it really clear, um, if you're charging your device, I'm going to go through and um, reset my counter. Uh, if you're charging your device, it won't go into deep sleep. So I'll unplug it now. So just in case you've, you're think your device isn't deep sleeping, you've got it plugged in, no it won't, it won't be deep sleeping, it won't ever do that if you've plugged it in. So I've unplugged it, turn it back on, I'll refresh my timers and see, right there you can see, I have good deep sleep. Um, I have 1800, 500 and 200 megahertz active and there are some that have not been used yet as you can see, um, uptime of 22 seconds. Obviously I just reset it and refreshed. That shows a bit of kernel usage as well. Sorry, not kernel usage, just the kernel version I've got. Uh, so there's deep sleep. So now we've shown you that, I'm going to go and show you better battery statistics. It also has an option to show you the CPU stats, which is under here. Um, it's not quite as accurate as the last application I showed you. But if you just want to download the one, then just download this one. This is the one I want to show you today. Okay, so in particular what I'm, going to, what I'm going to show you is the functions it has. So you can see you can select since boot, that's that's pretty much mandatory, you always select since boot so you find out what is working. You can see the process is working, you can see that I have my live wallpaper running at the moment, and down the bottom my launcher, then battery battery statistics there is open, you can see maps is running in the background, these are all my services that are using my processor. If I go to network, um, that won't work because I haven't allowed this for root access. So let's just get back out of that. Okay, so the two things you want to look at is partial wake locks. So what keeps it partially awake? And you'll have services like the mapping function. Um, Gmail will be syncing in the background. You can see you've got a weather widget that periodically sends out information every three hours. I think I have set to. Okay, so now we're going to look at kernel wake locks. This is the applications and services that wake our CPU up out of deep sleep, which cause power drain. Okay, now with that service, we can see a little question mark. Let me click on that and zoom in now for you. Okay, we can see it links us to a web page and it says VBUS. Uh, no action is required. That's really important. It, this um, application will link you to a website and tell you what you need to do. So this kernel wake lock is, happens when you charge your device. As you can, I showed you before, CPU Spy showed me that it wasn't deep sleeping because it was powering up. This is what the service was running that was stopping from deep sleeping, if that makes sense. Now let me show you another one. This is a network location. So actions to reduce the wake locks. So this is essentially telling you you can turn off GPS, you can turn off network location, so that would be under your settings. So to stop location manager, which is Google, asking where you are for your mapping service. So you could turn that off. That would stop this wake lock happening, if it was happening all the time for you. If you weren't deep sleeping because of this problem, this service, then you could do that. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer about how you can stop your device from waking all the time and keeping in deep sleep. Right, let me just pull back out. And now I'm going to show you the other application that I thought was pretty cool. It's DX Battery. So this application is another profiling application that uh, turns off certain devices. It tells you how much uptime you've got left. So it has um, quite cool features and a very really nice little graphic interface. As you can see, it already has some profiles set. You can create your own custom profiles. I'm just showing you what Long does. Long um, essentially makes the battery last as long as possible by turning off every single piece of hardware. And you can see it's boosted up to 9.18 minutes. 9 hours, 18 minutes. If I change it to all, it goes down to 8.38. So 8 hours, 38 minutes. 
So it's, it's not a huge saving, or 40 minute saving, I see. So that's from turning all the hardware on to having all the hardware off. Right, so let's click on the next option and uh, monitor. So it monitors your apps, just like your task manager does. Tells you how long they've been up, how long they've been used. Hardware shows you what's been used. CPU frequency at 1400, because obviously it fits the clock speed of the CPU. The screen, the sensor. Actually, that's an interesting one, the sensor. So that's constantly using from um, motion detection and from proximity detection. That's using a bit of power. So if you turn that off, you'll be saving a good 10%. Right, so the other option we have is battery optimizing. So we can see what services are running in the background, how we can actually make our device last longer. There's a few things we can do. Um, there's some things it says to do, like clearing all the applications in the background, which I protest not to do ever. Those applications need to stay there, because if you clear them, Android is just going to fill your memory up full of other applications, so just leave that alone. Um, okay, so with other options we have, we can turn um, lower CPU frequency on. Um, I'm not going to do that, because Android does it itself. We can switch mode by power, so as soon as it gets to 20%, I'm going to turn on long mode. So if I get that 20%, all my hardware is going to turn off. We also have switch mode by time and auto clean up apps. Um, I'm going to go into that and turn that on. And inside it, you're going to see um, some cool little settings. So protected list. You can stop your launcher from clearing if you want to clear those apps, which I do recommend you not to do. But um, you can go into that protected list, tick off my other launchers that I have downloaded recently, and that way it will not clear the current launcher that I'm running. Now, perhaps the best function of this application, in my opinion, is the mode by time. So it's going to switch certain modes during certain times of the day. Now, when I'm at work, I need my Wi-Fi on, but I don't need my data, because I'm not going to use that. And when I'm away from work, uh, vice versa, I'm not going to need Wi-Fi, because I'm traveling in my car or I'm around town. So I'm going to set it for at work. And between the hours of 7 till 5 in the afternoon, my data's off and my Wi-Fi is going to be on. Okay, so that's a really cool feature. Okay, so that was DX Battery Pro. So with this application, you have two widgets. You can see the top one is a toggle widget, and it has the same theme. So you can toggle off the hardware, as you can see I'm doing now. The second widget has the clear cache function, which I recommend don't do. Again, don't do it. And you've got the mode selection. And you can see as I select that, the hardware turns off and on as directed by your mode. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of how those two apps, Better Battery Statistics and DX Battery Saver Pro, work. They're both available on the Google Play Store and they're both paid apps, but they're definitely worth it. If you have any questions, write a comment and please subscribe and like if you like the video. Thanks.